Continue to field questions for USMLE. I have a girl asking from within our Telegram group what to do in the last week prior to her USMLE. She's asking uh, various things about should she look over UWorld again? Uh, should she look at just the NBME exams, my PDFs, etc.? What should you do in the final week prior to your USMLE? I've made numerous fucking clips talking about this. However, do I have any updated slash refined viewpoints? Give you a very fucking clean and excellent answer here. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like, I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical, links down below. Find me on Telegram, links to the Telegram group and channel down below and I'll start the clip. So students asking about what to do in the week prior to her USMLE. And my very consolidated, uh, too long didn't listen answer is you're absolutely not going to be doing you world okay bad fucking decision waste of time you are going to be reviewing the newest nvmes yes 25 through 30 for step one 9 through 12 for 2ck those are priority i have obviously made tons of clips talking about going through 20 through 30 for step one and 6 through 12 for 2ck as well as free 120 but you need to be consolidating assiduously around the NBME content. UWorld, bad fucking idea at this point. It's not the real US Million, okay? Students get very emotional about UWorld, the UWorld self-assessment self, self -assessment exams, etc. cetera. Uh, I don't recommend those late anymore, okay? Especially for the pass-fail step one. It's just not part of modern US Million prep. We you, we need you to recognize that the real Yosemite and the NBME content is exactly the same. That's why I harp on this uh, in the final month, especially not just the final week, but really in the final three to four weeks uh, before your Yosemite, you need to be memorizing the NBME content. And it's not just about the exact number of repeats that will show up because there will be varying numbers depending on the form you get. The same way we don't know how many how, what slant. Uh, the subjects you might get. We get a lot of biochem, a lot of cardio. So we don't know the exact tilt of how many exact repeats are going to show up. You're going to get one repeat and you get 10 repeats, but recognize that because all that info is the same, you're loading that into your pre-conscious state so that when you do get questions you don't know on the real USMLE, you're able to extract from that info you've memorized recently and you're able to arrive at a very strong gut instinct as to what the correct answer might be. So in terms of the final week, uh, yes, I want you going through the newest NBME exams, absolutely. I want you memorizing those questions. And I also want you going through my High Yield Arrows PDF, okay? Especially for step one, if you're borderline pass, if you've had issues passing, you really need to know the High Yield Arrows PDF. So because there's only so much time in a day, what I want you doing in the final week is those NBME exams, that's going to be the bulk of your day, okay? Really drive that MME content, six to eight hours. And then when you start to burn the fuck out, ADHD, uh, because you looked at so many questions, then I want you to do the high yield arrows PDF, which is still questions, but it's a load off your shoulders in terms of uh, they're, they're not the lengthy NBME questions the same way. So NBME questions in the final week, high yield arrows, you world is out, bad fucking idea. And then casually, you can uh, just continue listening to my audio cue bank here on the YouTube. I organize it by playlist, okay? So if you want to review your micro, your farm, your peds, obs gain, whatever it is, just listen to those subjects while you're at the gym, while you're brushing your teeth, flossing, uh, cooking, cleaning, just knock out those clips. You know the deal, I'm going to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe my channel. I appreciate your time. That's it.